Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Facebook is in major trouble after reports of what they handed out to Hillary campaign. Once again, we find that the double standard between left and right is alive and well in the mainstream media. For weeks now the left has made much of the scandal that broke where social media platform Facebook chose to allow the data firm Cambridge Analytica to acquire 50 million user profiles in the US, which it may or may not have used to help the Trump campaign. Yet we are now discovering that Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign may have also harvested the Facebook data of millions of people by using an app that asked them to pair their social media friends list with their smartphone's contact list all in a bid to reach additional people and persuade them to ultimately vote for Hillary. During the height of the highly contentious 2016 presidential election, Hillary's campaign launched a mobile application called Hillary 2016. Developers used a workaround in the application that allowed them to harvest and gather information from users' friends without their consent. This is a banned practice. Just one short month prior to Election Day in November 2016, the left-leaning Politico was the first to provide an in-depth review of the application. However, neither they nor anyone else perceived the application as potentially invasive. In fact, Politico and others lauded it as impressive election technology. Hillary's campaign stated at the time that more than 150,000 people chose to download the Hillary 2016 application to their smartphones and other devices. Potentially, this means millions of people's information could have been harvested through the use of this application. Hillary's campaign and their use of this banned practice of gathering information without consent raised significant concerns among those paying attention, as those on the left eagerly attempt to point to the controversy surrounding Cambridge Analytica and its ties to the Trump campaign. As the old adage goes, those eager to point fingers should take care that they do not find that very same finger pointed back at them. Such is the case for Hillary supporters and never-Trumpers still continuing to insist so-called Russian collusion is to blame and this mining Facebook data and using it to target potential voters is some sort of proof. Naturally, Hillary and her campaign are denying any and all accusations, pushing back against any comparisons with Cambridge Analytica, claiming the campaign's mobile application merely let users contact their friends about the campaign. A spokesman for Hillary claims that the Trump campaign and Cambridge Analytica used stolen data for a purpose that was entirely misrepresented to Facebook and is therefore very different. He claims, it's the difference between someone asking you to carpool versus them stealing your car. Yet as President Trump recently reminded Americans his social media operation and even his campaign as a whole was widely viewed as being less expensive and considerably less sophisticated than Hillary's as repeatedly noted by the same mainstream media during the 2016 election. A combined total of $81 million was spent on Facebook ads between both the Trump and Hillary campaigns during the 2016 presidential election as revealed by Facebook general counsel Colin Stretch during a congressional hearing last year. As the Duran notes, while social media and politics may appear to be a genius way to reach prospective voters, Facebook's, the company, not the platform, very active role in Obama and Hillary's campaign can also be construed as a donation by a corporation, and thus in violation of federal laws. And is Hillary's spokesman being truthful in his assessment of the situation? The Hillary 2016 application actually took advantage of special iPhone and Facebook integration. It asked every user to pair their friends list on Facebook with their phone contacts and give the Hillary campaign permission to access that info. People that chose to not download the application because they did not want to pair the two, were not able to stop friends from pairing their phone numbers with Facebook accounts if their friends chose to do so, however. Apparently, no truly does not mean no if your name is Clinton as once the friends list was paired to the application, people were then forced to swipe through their Facebook friends and dismiss those who would never vote for Hillary in their opinion. There were no means to opt out of this other than to wade through. Once complete, the remaining friends were sorted by location and then users had the ability to send pre-written text messages to those on their contact and friends lists in an effort to assist the Hillary campaign by convincing their friends to vote for Hillary. This is far from Facebook's first privacy scandal. Complaints about Facebook policy changes and use of personal data have forced public apologies from Zuckerberg at least six other times since 2006. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.